Hey guys, so it is Sunday and I'm getting ready to go into Aldi. I'm so glad I enjoyed the holidays, but I'm ready to get back to cooking at home and eating things besides holiday treats and finger food. So um, I have a list that I kind of planned out some meals for the week. So we'll see what happens when I go in here. Sometimes I change my mind based on what they have on sale. So gonna go ahead and get in there and get some grocery shopping done. So let's get started. So I'm back home and honestly, I could barely fit all of this on the table. So we were literally out of like everything. So I'm excited to be stocked for the week, but I will show you all. Starting with our proteins for the week, I had some meals planned. Um, so I stuck to that except for one meal, which I ended up getting the cauliflower pizzas because they had these several months ago and we had one and it was really good and I haven't seen them since so I changed my mind on one of the meals and got pizza instead. So I always get a couple things of some free range eggs. I got some ground turkey because I'm planning on making like turkey meatloaf in a muffin pan so they're like little mini meatloafs. I got some chicken thighs because I'm going to fix a white chicken chili in my instant pot. I'm planning on doing a video of that because I've had a lot of people comment that you do enjoy the Instant Pot meal videos, so planning to do that one. I got some shrimp because I'm going to do like a shrimp stir fry. got some salmon. I like to buy this wild caught pink salmon in the frozen section at Aldi. They come in like individual um, packets or packages like that. so easy to thaw out and cook 
for a weeknight dinner. I also got a couple cans of some white beans for the white chicken chili and then some tomato sauce for the meatloafs and some chicken broth for the chili as well. And like I said, these pizzas got some to try. I think we're gonna eat one for lunch today and then I got another kind, the pepperoni, and I might freeze that one um, to save for another time, but picked up some of those. I got some rice for the um, shrimp stir fry that I'm gonna make. And then I love sourdough bread. We like to eat this um, with toast or with eggs to make toast, that kind of thing. Um, I wanted to get some avocados for avocado toast, but they did not have any ripe. So um, always good though with peanut butter, almond butter, or something got like that. Or oatmeal for my overnight oats. And then lots of fruits and veggies. So I didn't need these, but I saw them and they were frozen. I thought they looked cool, colorful cauliflower. And what I liked most is the ingredients were just the vegetables. So no added oils or sauces or anything like that. And then they also had some carrots as well that I decided to pick up and again just the ingredients is the vegetable which is really nice. I got some frozen corn for the white chicken chili, some onions. I always buy a bag of onions because I'll use this for several meals, the meatloaf and the white chicken chili. I got some sweet potatoes. They were on sale for a dollar sixty, I think. Um, so I got some of those. I got some green pepper that I'm gonna use for the chili and meatloaf some jalapeno peppers for the chili. I got some mushrooms for the shrimp stir fry and then some broccoli to go with that as well. I got some cilantro for the ch white chicken chili kale. We always keep this around. I like to make like sauteed kale and eggs and Tyler uses kale for his protein shakes. I got some Brussels sprouts. Um, I'll probably serve that the night we have meatloaf or the salmon, one of those nights. I got some bananas and they had this big bag of sliced strawberries. Um, so I got some of that. I like to use these or the frozen berries for my oatmeal or yogurt. I got some gala apples back here. Got the usual unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I got a couple of these yogurts for me. I really like this kind. And then Tyler likes just plain Greek yogurt to put in his shakes. Got some more um, strawberry pineapple seltzer waters. Some more kombucha. I really love this flavor, but then they also had a new flavor that has blood orange, hibiscus, and rose. So. Um, it says it's the winter edition. I really like the Thanksgiving, like the fall edition. So I haven't tried this one. So excited to try that one. I got some more of this beet balsamic vinaigrette. Um, this has really good ingredients, but I really like to use this at work. I keep it in the fridge there because I eat salads a lot and I get tired of the dressings we have at work. I got some pumpkin pie spice because we're out. We like to use pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon in our um, coffee beans in the morning and grind it up together. So it gives you like the flavored coffee taste without all the added Honey. sugar. Um, I'll randomly use this in oatmeal or um, we needed some the other day and I just remembered so I picked some up while I was there. I got some more walnuts. I like to use this and my overnight oats, if you watched that video. Um, these are the chopped walnuts that I keep on hand. And they're pretty inexpensive if you buy them in like the baking aisle versus if you buy like the other kind of bagged nuts. So that's why I like to buy these. Got some more Perfect Bars, of course. These are our favorite for a quick breakfast or snack. Um, my flaxseed was expired, so instead of getting just regular flaxseed. I got this milled flaxseed. Um, so I've never had this kind before, but I thought the texture would be 
better to use them like oatmeal or smoothies or something like that. So I got more of that. And they had this coconut flour still. Um, I don't have plans for it this week, but it was in the Aldi finds aisle. And sometimes if you don't snag whatever's in those aisles, they might not have it I again. I just keep this in the cabinet and use it for whenever I do need it. Um, but in the video where I made the coconut flour chicken tenders, um, you would use something like this. And I think I mentioned that I had never seen it there before, but apparently they carry it now. So I got some. And you can't go to Aldi without an impulse purchase. Um, I got these coconut cashew crisp, these sea salt and caramel. Um, it says there's only five ingredients, coconut, cashews, coconut sugar, cassava flour, and sea salt. So I thought these would be good for like a little sweet treat at night. Um, eight cookies for 160 calories and pretty clean ingredients. Um, so that is all I got today. We are fully stocked for the week. We have a ton of food. Um, so like I said, I'm planning on sharing a few videos of some of the meals this week. And also if you follow me on Instagram, usually on Mondays, I post um, pictures of my Aldi meals for the week. So make sure that you follow along on Instagram. And if you liked this haul video, make sure to subscribe to see my next haul and see what um, meal videos that I'm doing next. So I will see y'all next time. Bye.